hello student let us today discuss about the order list so in the earlier classes i already have discussed about the html list and there i have discussed about the order list as well as the unordered list and also i told you how you can create the nested list but in this class today i will discuss about the order list and the type that you can use to represent your data that is list data so let us see so to write the order list first you have to write ol o a d o l that represent order list o l right so you know that inside ol inside the ol you have to mention the number of list by li so li represent the number of list right so it it depends upon your requirement that how many list you will include in inside the ol so it depends totally upon the requirement of the user right so let me just have four of those so i will write something inside this list so uh we have to provide the data let me write this is menu 1 right and uh, let me copy this text okay to all of this list right so i will just change the number menu 2 menu 3 and menu 4 so first i will check the output of whatever i have written in this few lines so this thing will be shown as output let us see this is the file name order list dot html so you can see uh, this is the order list you can see 1 2 3 4 so it will represent in the order unlike the unordered list so had i written the same thing here if i copy this thing and paste it above the order list so you can see two order list are here i will make it to ul so ul represent unordered list so this is unordered list and the next one that is order list can you see so if i go and check it out here you can see the unordered list it will have all dots so there is no order that is specified when you are going to see the unordered list but in case of order list you can see the numbering that will let you know that it has a proper order so now now i will show you another thing so before i start showing you let me delete uh, this thing so let us be more precise on the order list so here i will mention type type so type if i write type equal to 1 so that means it will represent the number so by default if you don't mention type equal to 1 then also it is going to represent the number so you can see it is still representing the number why because i have mentioned type equal to number so this is by default if you don't mention if you don't mention this type attribute so type is a attribute so you may mention or you you may not mention that attribute so if in case you if you don't mention the type attribute then also you can see it will represent by number so right so now if you mention a small letter a can you see small letter a then it will represent the alphabet this is how you can represent the list item in a alphabet right can you see a b c d it comes out the order has been shown in alphabetical order right descending alphabetical order right it, it, it can be ascending a b c d right so if i make it capital a if i make it capital a you can see the number will be the order number that will represent with capital letter a capital a capital b capital c capital d right so if i write here z so will it have any uh, effect let me show you if i write z over here then see then it will not work right if you write z that means that will be ignored so only you can write a 
small a or capital A or number, number will be represented by 1, right? Another thing is that you can write small i, right? Small i, see, small i. So if you write small i, then you can represent it uh, the same by, we can see the no Roman numbering, right? So this is how you can use the order list to represent the list item by the Roman numbering, right? So you can see it has been represented by small letter, right? So you can do it if you write capital I, then you can see. Let me save the file, I have not saved yet. So now go and check. So now the list item that has been represented in capital letter, that is Roman numbering but in capital letter, right? So you can do one thing. Uh, let me first get this at the center. So I will write the center tag and I will include this order list inside the center tag, right? So inside the center tag I have uh, included this order list so that the order list will now appear at the center, right? But you can see the numbering, the numbering has started from here, right? The numbering has started from here, right? So this is where the numbering will start. In spite of that, you have got this at the center, right? Have you noticed this thing? So, fine. So now I will again remove the center. So, so I put it in the center to, so to just show you that if you get the list right at the center, then also the numbering or the alphabetical order arrangement, whatever you precise in the type, that type attribute type attribute data will be at the right side of your browser. It will not align to the center, right? As you have seen. So if you bring the data at the center, so this numbering will still at the, the numbering you can see my cursor, cursor is hovering over this numbering. This will be at the left, right? So fine. Now you can create the nested of it. So if I write here, let's say, well, another uh, another order list I will create just inside this li I will create another order list because I am going to create a nested order list right we know that how can we create the nested order list this is the way we can create the nested order list so order list will be kept inside the list of another order list that I am doing over here right so order list this will be kept inside the list of another order list right this is how we can create the nested formation of order list or an order list we can do in same way right so here will be the list item so I will copy this and paste it so there will be three I will take three now let me write this is sub menu this is sub menu 1 and I will copy I will put it over here it will be sub menu 2 and it will be sub menu 3 right so now I will do one thing here type type so previously in the outer uh, order list the type was Roman numbering cap with capital I here I will write capital A so let me see how it comes out so you can if you go and check it out so you can see so this is the outer order list having the Roman numbering till here and inside this menu 3 we have another uh, sub order list that is a nested formation that I have created and it has the alphabet number so if I do another thing if I create another you will here so, sorry that is OL order list so let me check out how it comes out LI so you can see I will write here this is inner sub right So here, this is inner sub 
menu so you can see see so another order list that I have placed inside this li okay that means this li is associated with this order list right so another sub order list I have created right inside this order list right so if I so I have kept it without writing the type attribute as I told you that if I don't mention this type attribute it will accept number right so now it will accept number so you can see over here it will automatically accept the number can you see so this is how you can create on the order list the nested order list and how you can do the numbering how you can place it with the uh, alphabet type how you can use it with the roman numbering type so i hope you have understood and you can also uh, create an order list inside the order list or you can do the opposite thing you can create the order list inside the an order list so i will show you how you can do that so this is the an order list so an order list i am creating inside the order list right inside the order list inside this list you are going to add another this is this time we are doing an order list okay inside order list we are having an order list right another list menu one another list okay this is another list we do one so so you can see if you go and watch in the output section you can see under this menu under this menu that is this is inner sub menu 1 and we have this another list right so if i just change it okay so right so you can see this is how we have prepared so inside the order list we have another list and also you can do the opposite thing so i hope you have understood how to work with this order list how to create the nested order list also the nested another list and thank you for watching till the end so if if you have not subscribed this channel yet do confirm the subscription and uh, if you like this video if you think this video will be helpful for you then do click the like button share this video with your friends and wait for my next lecture and click the notification button so that when i will upload my next class video that will be notified in the no in your notification button so thank you